All right, we're going to kick this thing off. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on reduced latency with any application on any network. I'm Mary Jeffers with Addo, and we'll be hosting today's webinar. Again, thank you so much for joining. Today is especially exciting because we have three speakers, one each from Radix, Addo, and ACNC JetStore. Just a few housekeeping items. We will send the recording to all attendees and make it available online for sharing. As you think of any questions, please use the Q&A button to enter them. I will be able to see them, and we have saved some time at the end of each presentation, and then at the end of the entire webinar um, to go through your questions. Without further delay, let's kick this show off. Today, you will hear from Kirill Lucan of Radix, Joe Kimpler from Addo, and Jean Lazarvich from ACNC. I'll let these gentlemen introduce themselves, and then they'll each present. Thank you very much, Mary, and hello, everyone. On behalf of Radix Software, I'm very happy to see you all attending this webinar. I see that we have a pretty much international audience, and that's really great. This is what we've been uh, waiting for, and uh, please stay with us. It's going to be a very interesting session with a lot of different topics to discuss. Hello, my name is Joe Kimpler, and I'm the Enablement and Alliance Manager from Addo Technologies, and I'll be presenting today on behalf of Addo. I'd like to thank all of you for attending, and uh, hopefully we'll hold your interest. Really quickly, Addo was founded in 1988 under engineering leadership. We have interconnect experience with fiber channels, SaaS, all the way through NVMe. Our customers range from original equipment manufacturers to end users, and we are a global company with worldwide support and distribution. And with that, I'll hand it over to Gene. Hello, everyone. This is uh, Gene Zarvich with ACNC JetStore, and uh, glad to see everybody is on and uh, listening. Um, we are here uh, to present uh, you a really great seminar, and uh, we will be kicking it off with Kirill very shortly. Thank you very much, gentlemen, and thank you very much, Gene, for passing the word to me. So, uh, as you already understood, we are having today very different, still, working on the same field companies which are united by the same goal and the goal is to provide any application on any network and to reduce latency. And uh, in order to do this, we were all developing our strategies which now have combined and being a single unit. And uh, in order to understand a little bit more about Radix, I would like to discuss on our history. And as you can see on the next slide, our company is not just uh, a software manufacturer. It's much more. Actually, our vision is that technology and every good piece of technology have to be standing very heavily on the science. And as a company, Redix is not having only the coders, but we are also having a scientist, mathematicians, who are creating extremely demanding algorithms which are helping our customers to actually solve really big problems with their infrastructures. Because once we're having a huge amount of data and we can accept no latency and no downtime, we have to think of very complicated and very cool technologies which can actually provide those SLAs modern customers are looking for. So if we go on to the next slide, uh, I would like to discuss a little bit on where we have originally started. Uh, originally, Radix have started from the media and entertainment segment in which we're traditionally very strong. And once we've been thinking of this segment of the market, we were thinking that the customers are having a demand for the data. They're having a demand for a really big files with extremely heavy and important information. And once we had a success on this field, we decided that we should not only focus on this one, but we should give uh, 
customers from different industries the possibility to use our product. And this is exactly how we understood with video surveillance is also a place where we can help the customers to meet their SLAs. But still, we haven't stopped on this market, and we have totally understood that HP, an enterprise which is dramatically growing year to year, is also a market where we have to go, where we have to stand, and face the challenges of the customers with our product. And once we're talking about the questions, and once we're talking about the uh, things we have to solve for our customers, I would like to quickly remind you that you have in your right corner the chat box for questions and answers. And if there is anything you would like to ask from me, you're more than welcome to do it either once I'm presenting or in the very end of the presentation. So it's up to you, but please don't be shy. Please be active and ask questions. This is exactly what we love over here in Redix, Ata, and Jetstar. So once we're going on, once we're moving to the next slide, I would like not only to talk about the entertainment segments of the market, but I would also like to share a little bit of success stories with you guys. So as you understand, uh, media and entertainment segment is very competitive, and we're having different customers over there from Bollywood to Hollywood, and um, we definitely understand that all of these customers having one simple understanding that industry is changing dramatically fast. And this is easily seen for everyone, even for those who are pretty far away from media entertainment segment, by the way we change formats of the video. It seems that yesterday we had HD videos. Now we're talking about 4K videos, we're talking about 8K videos, and if you think about the manufacturers, all the movies, all the uh, TV shows, you can understand that they are having a huge amount of data they need to work with. And this is leading uh, all of our customers to one simple thing that this complicated, this huge amount of data have to be accessed sometimes by many people at the same time. So they have to do the color correction, they have to edit the sound, they have to edit the video, they have to do some other things, and this is leading to the understanding that the storage has to be very advanced. And this is exactly the place where we come in, and this is exactly what we are helping our customers to, to go through. We are able to give them this possibility to work with big files of 4K to 8K videos, and we're giving them the possibility to even work with the same file at the same time with a different task, with a different uh, applications. Actually, uh, if we think about uh, the media and entertainment, the task is pretty simple, but I was in the very beginning talking about that we are not only in the media and entertainment segments of the market, but also in the video surveillance. And if we move on to the next slide, we would see that we have a really great success in this segment of the market also. So, uh, the, one of the recent projects we have done was in South Korea. It was in Yong City Hall. It's in the capital area of South Korea. And what we have done there, we have combined over 2,000 HD cameras into a single chain and made the municipality to be able to control what is happening on the traffic, on the pedestrian street, and everywhere else. This is one of the great examples of how our product can be implemented to the infrastructure, to the very complicated infrastructure of video surveillance. Uh, and this shows that we are not only able to work with the videos, but we are also able to keep a very high standard of 24-7, 365, and definitely be able to work with the high-resolution videos and meet the isolate of the customers. So, um, these are two typical examples of a video surveillance and media. But on the next slide, I would like to talk a little bit about the HPC. So, recently we have noticed that HPC is a very demanding and very complex uh, market which is actually growing. This is partially happening because more and more universities are getting um, big massives of data they have to work with. 
It's also happening because public research industries are happening. Uh, and we as a company have clearly identified that this is also a place where we can fit in. And Europa Free cluster project in Germany is just a fine example of what we are able to give to this high demanding industry. See, once we've been creating this project, once we've been designing this project, we were keeping in mind that the customer was interested in integrating Intel Lustre with um, our product. And this was one of the keys to success. So as you understand, this is a complex project which we have successfully implemented. And what we are really proud in in Radix is that this project is not only up and running, but we are looking forward to cooperating more with Europa Free on extension of their data and extension of their service. So, uh, until this moment, I have highlighted media and entertainment. I have highlighted HPC. I have also highlighted uh, video surveillance industries. So on the next slide, I would like to briefly talk about two other examples of what we are able to give into the customers if thinking about uh, enterprise segment. So if you are a little bit familiar with Russian railways and the structure of Russian railways, you would understand that this is one of the biggest transport companies worldwide. Once again, we are really excited to say that we are helping Russian Railways to be 24-7 on the business, to have no latency and no downtimes, and this is based on their trust to our product. So we are providing this infrastructure to this huge enterprise customer, and we're really happy to share this with our, this experience with our partners and customers. On top of that, I would like to say that Mariinsky Theatre, more or less known in the world, in the ballet world, is also our customer, and they're recording their shows uh, to the storage and later on sharing the data with public TV channels, governmental officials, and obviously selling their shows worldwide. And they are also working on our software. So, so far I have talked about some examples of where we have implemented our product, and right now I would like to briefly talk about the technology which is standing uh, behind this. See, if you think about Radix, you would most likely associate Radix with the word rate. And this is exactly a correct understanding of the thing, because what we have done, we have been working with the standard rate, and we also have some patented technology for rate 7.3 and rate N plus M. Briefly, this is a great technology which is helping our customers to be 100% sure that even if something is happening with their drives and the drives are dying, they're still able to work and operate. For example, if in rate 7.3, three drives, not one, not two, but three drives are going to die at the same time, you are still going to be up and running. And this is something which is very unique on the market, which no one else is yet able to give to their customers. They're thinking about active and proactive ways of monitoring and working with the infrastructure. We are also having some great features, such as partial reconstruction and advanced reconstruction, which are giving the customers the possibility to restore the data from the special hard drives area. And this is helping to reduce an, uh, the reconstruction time, which is a very dramatic to most of the customers which are working with uh, extremely important mission critical data. Sustainable balance performance is also one of the things which is a must in the, cur in the current infrastructure in any segments of a market, because what we have totally understood from our customers is that there is nothing which can be described as non-important. If something is happening in the infrastructure, the customer has to know about it. And this is one of the key things which we think is a value. So today we also would like to uh, say that our technology and Redix is not staying on the same spot and we're moving on, we're developing our product. And today I would like to announce that Redix 4.5 is coming up next. This is going to be the greatest Redix you have ever seen. It's going to have 
all advanced features which you already love and it's going to have some new features which our partners and customers been waiting for. Shane, it's going to uh, be on the market later this fall. Uh, in late August, we are thinking to launching it to the general public. So stay tuned and definitely we are very excited to announce it today along with our partners Ato and Jetstock that we are having the new product which is available on the market from the end of the August. So on this very exciting uh, exciting point, I would like to pass the flow to Ata and to Joe Kimpler. So thank you very much. I don't know if there were any questions. So Mary, can you please tell me, were there any questions from our audience? Yeah, Carilla, thank you so much for that presentation. Uh, we did have one question come in, and you kind of, you touched on it a little bit, but can you go back? <laughs> definitely, definitely. I would like to highlight, and I think I would highlight one of my personal favorite, it's support of all flash. This is actually the thing which uh, some of our customers have been waiting for. They've been asking for being able to walk even faster with uh, all flash drives, and I think that this is one of the game-changing features which would be available on the market. Still, I would like to um, keep a little bit of the secret on what we're having in our latest release so that our audience and our customers would be going to our web page and definitely seeing all new features with their own eyes on our web page. Great, thank you. Um, so without further ado, we'll move along to Joe Kimpler from Adder Technology. Good morning to those participants on the West Coast and afternoon and evening to those elsewhere on the globe. Uh, again, my name is Joe Kimpler and I'll be presenting on the behalf of Addo today. Uh, I'll try to focus on what helps drive your business. So for those of you unfamiliar with Addo, allow me to provide some background on the next slide. Uh, Addo's been in business almost 40 years. We're privately held and located in Buffalo, New York. And for those of you who would like a geographical reference, it's actually home to the world famous Niagara Falls. It's really beautiful. If you're it's ever on your bucket list, uh, see it from the Canadian side. It's actually a little better than the US side. We have an engineering focus. Three of our four founders started their career in electrical engineering or in computer system design. Uh, we have a specialty in interconnect that goes from fiber channel through SAS, SATI, SCSI, Thunderbolt into NVMe. This interconnect expertise, from that we actually then build uh, products. We specialize in storage and networking connectivity from host bus adapters through software. Uh, we're a global company uh, with partners in Americas, EMEA, and APJ. Next slide, please. So with almost 40 years in business, Ada has built a very deep and wide customer base of tier one OEMs like Apple, EMC, NetApp, Quantum, NEC, and many others. We also have strong relationships with over 100 value-added resellers across the globe, the Americas, MA, and APJ. Over 30,000 users depend on Ada technology to run their business. And we're also integrated by system builders into servers, workstations, arrays, and our technology, and a lot of people don't know this, are actually, even at the ASIC level, we license some of that uh, for other people's products. All of this has actually uh, built us into a market leader. We're best known for the media and entertainment space, but if you think of the media and entertainment space and its performance characteristics that drive us into uh, engineering and design, scientific research, gas and oil, but it also makes us very, very uh, good for IT applications such as big data, backup recovery, virtualizations, and the ever-expanding cloud market. Next slide, please. So let's look at Edo products. Now, I know this is a bit of an eye chart, but it shows the breadth of the Addo product line and how critical they are in connecting the entire enterprise. So starting in the left-hand corner, you'll see the Addo 10 and 40 gig NICs. 
These are high-performance SNCs via Rocky 1, Rocky 2, and they service application servers like those running email, web, back office applications. Moving to the upper right-hand image, uh, it also shows the Addo fiber channel switches in HPA that provide not only high-performance fiber channel connectivity across departments with mixed workloads, but also connectivity across Windows, Macs, and Linux workstations uh, through a multi-path director software. At the 3 o'clock position, for work groups in the M&E vertical, which we're best known for, we have Thunderbolt connectivity that's provided by our Thunderlink and Thunderstream products. Moving to the 6 o'clock position of the slide, remote branches can be connected via iSCSI with our fast frame NICs. Uh, SAS storage and tapes uh, brought into the enterprise through the Addo Fiber Bridge and Extreme Core controllers. So now if we take a look at the four main products, you'll see the flagship, which is our Celerity 32 and 16 and 8 gig fiber channel HBAs. These are highly specialized with a proven stack over a number of years, and these are definitely high performance and can be used either in the initiator or the target uh, mode driver. The next, please, is our extreme controller and fiber bridges. This takes uh, fiber channel to SAS controllers, and we can integrate any direct attach SSDs, HDDs, or tape drives, and we can get these stranded devices uh, that are connected DAS into SAN. Moving along to our fast frame. 10 and 40 gig NICs. Again, we have 25, 50, 100 on the horizon, and these are all Rocky capable. Next, please. And for the Thunderlink folks out there, we have a, a full scale and suite of Thunderlink devices. Uh, this leverages iSCSI initiators, including Addo Extend SAN, and we can support both local and storage area network, networks across Mac and Windows, laptops, and servers. Next slide, please. So from the enterprise topology slide on the left side, you can see that Addo utilizes a, a portfolio of enterprise network proof points, and they excel in environments through the highest performance. So how do we actually do this? If you look at the three boxes towards the bottom, you see our ASICs are designed to go from right to left, measured in um, minimizing latency and maximizing the meta megabytes per second data transfer. Other people measure in IOPS, and uh, we think and believe that the, the transfer rate and minimizing latency is more important. So if you look at the left-hand box, Addo products are designed from the ASIC up to maximize a megabytes per second transfer rate and minimize the latency. And this outperforms others in the sequential read and write streaming. And it's important for applications which are the most demanding, like video post-production, CAD and CAE, and medical imaging. Moving to the middle box, it also benefits the mixed environment with random sequential data. Applications like business analytics, content distribution, and cloud-based applications. Stepping one more to the right, this is for random non-sequential applications like databases, web servers, back office apps. Then these actually often use IOPS as a performance indicator. However, if you really think about moving from the left to the right, if you maximize the megabytes per second transfer rate and minimize the latency, this actually provides a better performance increase and therefore better application performance. Next slide, please. So you might ask, how does Addo do this? So let's look into one of our core technologies, and that's the Advanced Data Streaming, or ADS. If you look at the two graphs on the right-hand part of the slide, you'll see that Addo provides a much smoother data flow, and this actually results in a higher application performance. You might ask, well, how do we do that? Um, so we've developed functionality to incorporate attributes like smart reads and writes, and this optimizes a multi-stream data flow so you don't have drop frames. 
We have shared memory optimization through our aware drivers, and this minimizes the bus traffic. We have an uh, enhanced event logging, which allows more efficient troubleshooting and management. And if you even step below that, so we retrieve that by something we call bus mastering. And this eliminates the communication uh, between the host CPU by transferring the data directly between the ADO host bus adapter and the system memory. This relieves the CPU or offloads the CPU from the burden of managing protocol activities and increase the system bandwidth uh, for other applications. So if you go a little bit lower than that, how do we do it? We have technologies like uh, tag command queuing, which allows for multiple I.O. commands. It's a process in any order and improves the overall performance of the read and write requests to the hard drives. We have disconnect reconnect, which increases the bus performance. And this eliminates the wait time between the at a host adapter and other devices. It enables dynamic sharing of the bus bandwidth uh, in very sophisticated environments. So these advanced features and our algorithms that go with it are implemented to provide optimized performance for applications, again, digital content, rich media, prepress, and databases. Next slide, please. So here's where the technology meets the product. So if you look at the very bottom and build your way up, our core technology and core competency is in latency management and bandwidth optimization. So if you go up there, we use that core competency to come go across multiple protocols, whether they're SAS, SATA, Thunderbolt, Ethernet, Fiber Channel, out to new NVMe over fabrics. And then we bring that up into actual products. So we start at the lowest level with the highest performing products. We go through the protocols and then where it meets the products, where we have from those, we develop bridges, Thunderbolt devices, controllers, switches, uh, network cards, and of course our flagship host bus adapters. This gives Addo a full range of connectivity products, making them us your premier networking partner. Next slide, please. So let's look at a little bit of the differentiators. Uh, again, it's key to remember that latency management is built into all of our host bus adapters and RAID hardware, and this actually provides the performance uh, advantage. Uh, as we discussed with ADS, it manages latency. That provides controlled acceleration for smooth data streaming to maintain consistent performance. So this gives us best in industry data transfers for high bandwidth applications, which means better performance for end users. Another differentiator and unique to Addos, our multipath director. This specializes, uh, it's a specialized multipath driver incorporated into our HBAs and our Thunderbolt devices that enable Linux, Windows, or Mac workstation or servers uh, to connect to enterprise class storage. So this is implemented across all hosts and it improves your fiber channel efficiency by providing uninterrupted access to data failover through failover and load balancing and protection. If you look at our intelligent controller architecture, it combines our powerful hardware with an efficient software stack or software engine. And this delivers uh, features with flexibility of anything to anything and examples of anything to anything protocol Connectivity include fiber channel to SAS, fiber channel to iSCSI, FCOE to SAS, FC to SATA, FC to Ethernet, uh, so anything to anything. In the VMware environment, Addo's vconfig tool is a software plugin, and this uh, provides for centralized monitoring and management in the VMware Center environment, and it uh, reduces the VMware host infrastructure costs. Lastly, our latency scout is a storage I.O. diagnostic utility that boosts performance by IDing bottlenecks and allows you to manage those. Next slide, please. So I'm coming toward the end, but as an overall product line overview, uh, Addo offers a full range of the highest performing connectivity products from controllers to software. Uh, our products are designed that our software tools actually enhance the advantages of our software, and we're a global leader in storage connectivity and infrastructure solutions that help store, manage, deliver data into your business. So with that, let me see if there's any questions for me. 
So thank you so much for that presentation. That was really good, very thorough. We did have a question come in, a um, little bit of a tricky one. So let's see how you handle this. The question is, what separates Addo from your competitors like Emulex and QLogic? <laughs> okay, we're getting right down to nitty gritty, huh? <laughs> uh, well, all of these companies actually make very good products and each has an advantage in certain areas. Um, I was the director of Technical Alliance for QLogic for 14 years, so I'm very familiar with their products. And, um, but I'll, however, Addo has a great advantage, especially in the M&E market, by offering the universal connectivity between Apple, Linux, and Windows workstations. Uh, that, but really, if you answer the question at a higher level, what's shaping the FC industry is the consolidation, the M&E activity, the mergers and acquisitions going on in it. So if you look at uh, Emulex being picked up by Vago slash Broadcom, Cavium picking up QLogic, and if you look at, those are all semiconductor companies. And if you look at the semiconductor's business model, they're to sell millions and millions of chips to the big two and three letter OEMs. You sell millions and hundreds and thousands of adapters and switches to those guys. So what's going to happen is, what's happening already, is if you're a lower or mid-tier or even large enterprise or customer, you're going to get less and less um, influence from them or, or attention from them because they want to sell the millions of chips. So Addo excels in this environment, and uh, we're here to support you uh, no matter what's your size, and I think that's where we're really going to excel the most. Anything Excellent. Else? Thanks. All right, so we'll move right along to Gene from ACNNC. Hello, everyone. This is Gene with ACNC, and uh, we will uh, present on our uh, partnership with uh, Radix and Addo. So Jetstore has been our partner for Radix for over five years, uh, and we have been a partner for Addo over 10 years. Jetstore appliances powered by Radix uh, deliver peak I.O. performance in data-intensive environments. We have over 1,000 implementations in U.S. and across the globe. We have 4,000 implementations of Jetstore appliances in the States. We've been in business for 23 years. We've been uh, storage-focused. We have 16 to 48 drives appliances with the ability to expand JBots. And we have fully integrated solutions for media, high-performance computing, and video surveillance markets. Next slide, please. Now I'm going to jump into the appliances powered by Radix. This is the first one. It's called RDX 16. It's a three-year appliance with 16 three-and-a-half-inch drives, four two-and-a-half-inch SSD drives for SSD caching. It supports RAID 5, RAID 6, proprietary RAID 7.3, and RAID N plus M. We have four SSD base for caching and tiering, four redundant power supplies and fan modules, and we support hot swap modules motherboards with redundant or single nodes. We offer dual 10 gigabit ports, dual 1 gigabit ports, and dual 40 gigabit ports as SCSI. We have optional 12 gigabit SAS and we support 16 gigabit and 32 gigabit fiber channel ports provided by Addo. Next slide, please. Moving on to RDX 48, that's a full U48 bay with dual E5 processors supporting 48 drives, four two and a half inch drives for caching. We have internal two 12 gig ports we have PCIe expansion slots for protocol cards, and of course support RAID 5, RAID 6, proprietary RAID 7.3, and RAID M plus M. Next slide, please. Now we move to the customer profile. This is the implementation we have done here in the States with JetStore RDX 16, high performance appliance powered by Radix. It was a big data project for collection and analysis. And user requirements was uh, the customer was looking for a new storage solution which can sustain more than two drive failures and have minimal impact of performance during drive rebuild. We selected 
Radix, and Atto cards powered by our Jetstar appliance, RDX-16, and we delivered 50 units of uh, over 3 petabyte capacity. The customer is using 10 gigabit ports, 7.3 configuration, and they're able to sustain three drives failures without a data loss. Write performance was 1.8 gigabyte sustained over two 10 gigabit links with 16 drives and the single node controller. Performance degradation was negligible. The customer did not see any performance degradation at all. And we delivered 50 units uh, with a capacity over three petabytes across three data centers, Virginia, Massachusetts, DC. Uh, we have 14 units per site with air spare units. So why did the uh, customer pick Radix, uh, Jetstar powered by Radix with Ada cards? We were able to provide API access to Jetstore systems. The customer wrote custom-based application where they can monitor all the systems across uh, all of the three data centers with one single pane of screen. This, uh, we have uh, uh, the systems pretty much were deployed across three data centers with support, with local support provided by our U.S. tech support uh, 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 people. We have uh, we are able to get performance uh, wire speed uh, on uh, on this on this appliance. Next slide, please. Next customer profile is our video editing powered by Radix. Uh, the customer was asking uh, for device that would sustain more than two drive failures. So we were provided a 24 RDX 24, uh, and it could sustain three drive failures. It was uh, 20 by four terabyte drives with 80 terabyte usable capacity. Customers running multiple workstations with 16 gigabit ports and fiber channel switch connected to JetStore RDX. 24. Right performance was over three megabytes a second. They have no draw frames, no performance degradation. So the customer is running 7.3, and they have no performance degradation during rebuild. Next slide, please. This is our partner in Australia, Hyperscalers. We created a JetStore appliance powered by Radix with Hyperscalers. Uh, and they ran a test in August 2016 where they were able to outpace uh, the hardware that they were uh, using before, and they were able to get 8x uh, in performance and, IO, and uh, IOPS and IO access. So this is kind of shows where we can work with storage integrators, and we can provide various storage appliances to customers across the globe. Next slide, please. And now I want to show you how this ties all together, how JetStore becomes part of a unified storage for media network. On this slide, we show all three solutions together, where the JetStore is a storage appliance. We have Addo fiber channel cards. We have Addo iSCSI cards. We have Addo 16 gigabit switch. And we have a 40 gigabit switch by Addo. So we can support the workflow that's provided from the fiber host. We can support the workflow that's provided from the Mac uh, host, and we can support everything in one jet store. That's a unique part about our solution, where we can provide the fiber channel protocol, we can provide the iSCSI protocol, all in one unit. So this kind of ties together as one appliance for your media workflow. Great, thank you, Gene. We have, I have one question for you. Um, Great. Yeah, do you, actually two questions. So one is, do you provide support for storage integrators? Yes, we provide full integrated support for storage integrators. As I talked about in the previous slide, we work with hyperscalers and uh, we have partners in Europe, we have partners in the United States and we can select the hardware for them. We, we have our own hardware that we can provide them. We can integrate the Radix software and the Edo cards, and everything becomes as one platform. We, create, we will work with storage integrator. We'll figure out the, uh, the applications that they're running, and then we'll create a tailored appliance based on their needs. Okay, great. 
Thank you. And then the other question is how how do we buy this solution? Yes, you buy everything from uh, ACNC Jet Store here. So we actually uh, sell the Adder cards, we sell Adder switches, we sell all Jet Store appliances, and we sell uh, Radix software. And we can sell it as a whole solution, or we can sell it as a component. So we can sell your just Adder card or Adder switch. If you already have a network that you want to plug it into, we can do it that way, or we can create the whole United Storage for Media Network. Uh, architecture where everything will be provided by ACNC JetStore. All right, thank you. So, with, um, what I'd like to do now is just some closing remarks from everyone. So this is Joe Kimpler. I'll close for the team. I'd like to thank everyone on the behalf of Radex, Addo, and Jetstore. We thank you very much for your participation, for your including information, for your extended information. It will be posted to YouTube. So if you'd like to contact Radex, it's www.radex.com. Addo is www.addo.com. And ACNC is www.acnc.com. Thank you very much for attending, and we look forward to helping you in your network. Thank you. Goodbye.